Hey, did you know that eating wheat and gluten can cause you to have high liver enzymes on your blood work? Today, I'm going to explain that in this short video, so let's get into it. So why would you even care about liver enzymes being high? Well, when liver enzymes are high, and what we're talking about here is your AST, your ALT, when those are high, that can indicate some sort of liver inflammation or liver cell death. So when liver enzymes show up high on your blood work, if they're a certain amount of high, people think, oh my God, I might have you know, hepatitis, or I might have some sort of like liver toxicity. Well, wheat and gluten can cause what we would call a mild elevation of your transaminases. Now, transaminases is just another name for ALT and AST. And what I mean by mild is if you get on your blood work and your ALT and AST are like 67 or 100 or something around like that, because normal is typically around 30 to 40 for, for the top end for both of those. So if your blood work comes back and it's got like a 60 or a 70, most of the time your doctor is not going to say anything about it because they've kind of been taught that unless they're very elevated, nothing really to worry about. However, research has shown that elevated transaminases that are mild for no other reason are most likely due to gluten sensitivity or celiac disease. Uh, celiac disease. Now, why is that? That is because gluten antibodies, gliadin antibodies, can cross-react with your liver cells. Uh, that phenomenon of cross-reaction is basically this. It means uh, the antibodies for one thing, like the little post-it note that your immune system makes for gluten, that can stick onto your liver cells and it can direct your immune system to go kill your liver cells. And when those liver cells are killed, they dump their contents out into your blood and some of their contents are AST and ALT. So that's how gluten and wheat can cause an elevation of your liver enzymes. Now, it can be so bad that it causes honest to goodness liver damage, but more often than not, what I've seen over the last 20 years is gluten sensitivity or celiac disease can masquerade, and one of the telltale signs is a mild elevation of AST and ALT. So if you have had that on your blood work and someone's blown it off, and maybe you also have fatigue, or also have headaches, or also have one of the millions of other symptoms you can get from celiac disease, and I have a video on that, then you might really want to be working with someone that understands that mildly elevated transaminases could be a sign that you have a wheat problem. Now, we could talk all about the different ways to test for it, but I've got some other videos that you can look at that can really go into that in detail. But just to say right now, if you've had elevated transaminases, and people don't know why, that you might have a gluten problem and you're going to need to get checked correctly, but the correct test, I'll just say this here, is not just a gliadin antibody test. You need to have a full wheat proteome test, which I've explained in some other videos, because celiac disease and gluten sensitivity, more often than not, do not cause GI symptoms. What they do cause a lot of, though, are neurological symptoms, hormonal symptoms, that's what it causes. Not so much constipation, diarrhea, which, you know, intuitively you would think that's what it does, but it really doesn't. The non-intestinal manifestations of celiac and non-celiac wheat sensitivity are way more common than the GI symptoms. So I'm going to wrap it up. And what I want to tell you again is this. Gluten and wheat can cause elevated liver enzymes because of cross-reactivity between gluten and wheat and your hepatocytes, your liver cells. So if you've had Elevated transaminases around, you know, 180 to 100, something like that, and no one seems to know why. You need to find a doctor that can dig deeper and find out if gluten, uh, whether it's celiac disease or non celiac wheat sensitivity, is causing that because you want to take action now. Celiac disease and non celiac wheat sensitivity are one of those things that you can have for years and until it gets so bad that you have really severe symptoms, whether they're neurological or hormonal someone finally tests you for it. So the quicker you can find out, the quicker you can make the changes, and the quicker you can get better. I'll see you next time.